10. Little Known Tricks That Are Very Useful In Every Airport Traveling can be met with obstacles and levels of concern before you reach your final destination. You will encounter things that you may find are making it a not-so-relaxing time for you. In this video, we'll be counting down the best tips and tricks on how to make your airport experiences a bit more bearable. Now, keep watching for 10 little-known tricks that are very useful in airports. Even though there are things that happen along the way that are a little unpredictable, these travel tricks will improve your travel experience. And after you get a rundown of some airport tricks and tips to add to your travel routine, we'll provide you with some tips on what not to do at the airport when you're traveling. Number 10. Use travel kits, cubes, to conserve space in your luggage. Packing is definitely a tricky part of the travel experience, and you should be prioritized in advance. You don't want to be stuck last minute at home removing things from your luggage, or even worse, at the airport. Getting travel kits or cubes can help condense the space that your belongings will take and help fit everything efficiently. From shower products to makeup to clothes, this will give you a better idea about the space you're working with before you start to cram everything into your luggage. It's important to be cautious and considerate of the weight as well to avoid any overweight fees upon arrival. Number 9. Consider late night flights for easier travel experiences. During late night flights, there are usually fewer passengers and fewer travelers with kids. We've all had experiences with babies and children crying or making noise that kept us from resting on our flights. Because fewer people travel on late night flights, your wait time and lines are usually much faster. Number eight, choose your seat ahead of time on your airline's website. Your airline's website will always include a seating map. And though it may come at an extra cost to book in advance, it would be wise if you require special seating or have a certain preference. Emergency exit seats will have more leg space as well as the seats at the very front or end of the aircraft. And the back of the plane tends to have the seemingly endless line for the washroom if that's something that can potentially bother you. Number seven, prepare for jet lag in advance. Depending on where you're flying to, there may or may not be a time zone difference. However, for many destinations, jet lag is something that many travelers have suffered from and it's best to be prepared ahead of time for this. Check the local time of your destination to try to adjust your schedule accordingly before departing. It can be a tough time if you arrive in another time zone with little sleep and are forced to navigate your way around. Sleeping on a plane can also be tricky, so it's important to consider travel time. Also, you should avoid alcohol, coffee, tea, or other liquids with an energizing effect on you because it can tamper with your resting time. Number six, free Wi-Fi can be found anywhere at the airport. In this day and age, most people try to connect to Wi-Fi in almost any building they enter. Luckily for travelers, airports have terminal-wide Wi-Fi that you can enjoy before departure. This can help you pass the time as you wait to board your flight. And can be found almost anywhere at your local airport. Whether you want to browse social media or get work done on your laptop, you can enjoy the complimentary Wi-Fi and plug in until you leave. On some airlines, they even have app-based Wi-Fi services that allow you to tune into their entertainment platform so that you can enjoy what they have to offer during the flight. Used any of these hacks before? Keep watching for the top airport hack that all travelers should use when traveling. Number five, fly with a pet if you're afraid of flying alone. If you're traveling alone for the first time or have a fear of flying, you may be allowed to travel with your pet if you have one. You can get special permission from your psychologist if you require your pet for support and some European or American airlines will allow you this luxury. Depending on your airline, there may be a fee for this but if it will help you overcome your fear and get you through your travel, it is definitely recommended. 
It's important to verify the details of this option with your airline prior to arriving to the airport. Number 4. Buy a pass to the lounge zone if spending excess time at the airport. Lounge zones are available at most airports for travelers and aren't very expensive either. There, you will find a less crowded waiting area, food and drink spots, internet connection, and resting spots with couches. Sometimes, you'll even get a shower area and private rooms to sleep in, which are all included in your fee. This is a wonderful alternative for travelers who have to wait in excess of six hours at the airport and want to still rest and avoid spending extra money on food or hotels for the night. Number three, check the lost and found for free headphones if you forgot yours. For many travelers, earphones and headphones are important because they allow them to plug in their chosen entertainment during their journey. In the unfortunate case that you forgot yours, you may be in luck. People lose things all the time at the airport and after three months of not being claimed, cheap items can be given to you for free at the discretion of the employees. Things like headphones, chargers, and other little things that can help save the day. Number two, use airport assistance for young travelers, disabled, and elderly. Depending on the airplane you've chosen, there is an airport assistance available for those in need. Whether it is for a young traveler flying alone for the first time or a senior who requires boarding assistance, airports and airlines work to ensure that you are given the travel assistance you need. Services from employees like medical help, feeding support, and other forms of assistance are available to you and should be used if needed. And now, time for the top airport trick that everyone should know while traveling. Number one, use a GPS tracker to locate your luggage. It's everyone's worst nightmare, losing your luggage at the airport once you reach your destination, or even misplacing your luggage before check-in. Fortunately, for modern day travel, there are GPS tracker apps that can be paired with luggage. You can even have a keychain attached to your luggage that has a built-in GPS, which will allow you to track your luggage if it gets misplaced or lost. This can be quite the obstacle to face during your travels and it's important to try and prevent it at any cost. These trackers can be paired with apps that will allow you to follow your luggage's location. You should always know your rights in terms of your luggage, loss or damage after it is claimed. All right, so now that you know 10 of the best hacks to use while traveling, here are some things that you should not do at the airport to avoid having a miserable travel experience. Number three, do not wear uncomfortable clothing. Knowing what to wear on a given flight can be tricky. Whether you're going somewhere hot or cold, it's important to dress comfortably and to layer up if needed. Although each individual reacts differently, passengers tend to feel colder when up in the air, and it's best to plan ahead in case you're feeling discomfort on your flight. You should also be sure to wear comfortable shoes as your feet may start to get sore. Comfort on a flight makes a world of difference, and it's crucial to be prepared in advance. Number two, don't eat just anywhere. Traveling can be very expensive as is, so if you can avoid spending too much at the airport, you should certainly try to do this. It's wise to check out reviews of local eating spots in and around the airport where you can get a cheaper alternative. Many people resort to what the airport itself has because they aren't aware of the other options, but airport food is often overpriced. You can get a meal that will cost you the same price as coffee at the duty-free which will save you money. You can even load up on snacks that you're allowed to bring with you on board, which is another great option. Number one, don't be the first person to check your luggage. When you check in your luggage, try to be one of the last people on the flight to do it. This way you will be one of the first people to receive your luggage when you arrive at your destination. After all those hours of travel, the last thing you want to be doing is excessively waiting for your luggage. Wrap a noticeable ribbon on your luggage to distinguish it from others, or buy a bright and flashy looking one so that it'll catch your eye. What are some airport hacks that you use when you're traveling? Let us know in the comment section below. 
Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching!